Hi there, my name is Kepi Kate, and welcome back to Clan Jin with our clan, Willow Clan. A clan who is suffering upon the land in which they live with a curse put upon them by supposedly a wilted willow or something attached to this wilted willow. Now, last time, our precious Ridge Goose and Star Clan are trying desperately to get in touch with our living cats to help them to find at least a cure for their spirits if they can't seem to find a cure for their bodies. Ridge Goose is continuing to remind them to put the glowing white mushrooms in with the dead so they are not stuck in the dark forest. Now, as a small disclaimer to today, your girl is suffering with some serious allergies serious allergies <laughs> and so I might sound like Squidward and I might sniffle please forgive now with that out of the way let's continue and see what happens today with our cats of Willow clan as far as size of the clan the clan is still strong with over yeah over one and a half pages this is great. And we just had kits. I remember from last time, little Bay Kit was absolutely the favorite. I can't wait to see what he looks like when he grows up. So life is still happening. These cats are not giving up. They are still going strong. They are still fighting. They are not going to let this curse of possibly the dark forest keep them from living their lives. And so they will continue with patrols and our medicine cats will continue looking for visions. Every time I get a vision, I'm going to start rolling to see how much closer they possibly get to a cure or how much farther away they get from it. So already, right away, I send River J out on her own to meditate. And she thinks about a dream that she had while she's looking for cobwebs, a dream that was very vivid during the time that she was sick. And as she tries to decipher this dream of cats seemingly wilting away like the willow, covered in mushrooms, becoming a part of the ground, she has a thought. She decides to go back to camp and let the leader, Elren, and the deputy, Melting Heart, know that this idea has popped into her mind that maybe the mushrooms that are left behind are actually the answer. Not the glowing mushrooms, but mushrooms that sprout off of the cats and stay there even after they're cured. But that's the important part, is the cats that are cured but still remain with the evidence of this curse. And so she's going to start collecting, no matter how painful it may be, some of the mushrooms off of the cats that have survived and making poultices to see if it helps those that are still sick. I rolled really well for her, so here we go. So this is really interesting. I sent Raccoon Creek out alone for the same reason in hopes that they could meditate and possibly contact StarClan. And as they're gathering some herbs, there's some rosemary that's not far off from the actual wilted willow. And she works on collecting it. But as she's doing so, there's a feeling of hatred, dark hatred that lingers close to the wilted willow, and she feels it. However, it's frightening to her, and she decides not to linger too long and not to investigate what is going on with this feeling of hatred around the wilted willow. I rolled very low for her, which is a shame because this would have been a cool reveal, but maybe next time. And again, the clan is reminded that there are other dangers besides what they are facing, besides the curse. As a patrol is set out, Elstar, Whiskerspore, and Foggy Freckle decide to patrol the borders. They see a Sparrow Clan cat quivering in a tree, but before they can do anything or run, a dog descends upon them and kills Whiskerspore before they even think to run. But just as Whiskerspore ascends into Star Clan and they lose a cat to the clan, another cat is happy to join. So the clan still grows. Oh dear, this is not something I expected. So Wish Current was murdered 
but the culprit is unknown. So we may need to actually look into our cat's statuses today to see if anybody is acting suspicious in order to keep an eye on them. I think this is the first time in a really long time I've ever seen a cat get murdered by somebody in the clan. But it could mean that something is happening. Something dark could be residing in our cats. Either that, or it's simply the fear of what is going on is making them choose badly. Choose the ways of the dark forest as, a sp as opposed to the ways of Star Clan. We may possibly have a hint here. It says, frankly, they're all better off without Wish Current and Jump Pelt doesn't know why everyone else is so grief stricken. So we may have to look into Jump Pelt. They may be the murderer. So I looked at all of the statuses and nothing was obvious as to who might be the murderer. Even Jump Pelt was thinking about Pale Cloud as opposed to what had happened to Wish Current. So nobody is acting suspicious, but there is definitely a murderer among them. So I'm going to do something we haven't done in a long time. I'm going to look at relationships just to see if there's any hatred about in the clan and then we may have to watch who hates who to see if a killer continues killing. So right now I'm looking at Jump Pelt and she hated Wish Current. I mean, that bar is full. So I'm going to check the other cats to see if anybody else hated Wish Current, but I'm really leaning towards Jump Pelt just flat out murdered Wish Current. I do think it's Jump Pelt. And so we're going to start rolling to see if our deputy can figure out who it is. And Jump Pelt may be exiled or even killed for what has happened. Last night, Raccoon Creek had a dream about the hatred they felt by the Wilted Willow while collecting rosemary. They saw themselves as if looking down like a bird in the tree itself, and that feeling of hatred blanketing over their hide, making their hair raise up on end, their hackles taut in fear from the hatred that was being projected at them. But while thinking about this dream, Raccoon Creek gets a shiver down her spine and she decides to ignore it. But she does tell the leader and the deputy that she's been having dreams and that she'll get back to them when they know what it's about. A few cats go out to patrol the border and they end up finding a kitty pet that's just sniffing around a bit and Flaxtooth decides to join the clan. So we are getting more cats once again. We lose one and we gain one. The clan is still growing. We are on the next moon. Our deputy is trying to investigate the murder of Wish Current, but unfortunately, all leads have turned up dry. And now, Floodpaw touches noses with Jump Pelt, wondering whether this is truly the right path for them. Hmm, another hint emerges. Eager to learn the best ways to help the clan fr thrive, Hailpaw excitedly touches noses with Current. Bay Kit runs in front of the crowd, eager to get their new name. When they're called Baypaw for the first time, Jump Pelt and Flickerbird's voices can be heard the loudest as the clan welcomes the new apprentice. Now that it is Moon 82, Pale Cloud has worsened. She has gone into phase four, and the cats watch her desperate for an answer. Right now, River J is trying to make different types of poultices, but nothing is working just yet. Now on Moon 83, Flowerpaw touches noses with Piper and hopes they will get to hunt first so they can make sure the clan is fed. Flaxtooth, one of the new cats that have joined the clan, has died of yellow cough. This leaf bear has been hard. And then Chip Fawn has realized that Tom doesn't describe how they feel anymore. And Foggy Freckle was seen arguing with a loner? Borderline fighting with a loner even. A new cat named Colby Jack joins the clan. Love that name. This is, this is probably the most cats I've seen lost in a moon so far. So Nadja, Bittern Dapple, Foggy Freckle, Piper, and Jump Pelt are killed in an ambush by a group of rogues. All of them are gone. I guess we won't have to worry about Jump Pelt anymore, but not just that. 
Hail cuts and flicker chill died of yellow cough. Yellow cough is wreaking havoc. And now current also descends into phase four on moon 84. River J and Raccoon Creek are all devastated. They have no idea where to go from here. What River J thought might work didn't quite work. And now she's grasping at anything that could possibly work. She's mixed the glowing white mushrooms with mushrooms off the bodies of cats that have been cured. She's gathered mushrooms from around. She's gathered leaves, everything that she knows to heal. She's prayed to Star Clan countless times. But Star Clan is so silent. It's to a point where the cats are seriously considering leaving. It is now the 85th moon, and L Star has lost two lives one to Yellow Cough, and one to being crushed by a tree that fell into camp. L Star is down two lives. Not only that, but I did roll for the sickness to spread and I rolled a four. We will have four cats. Now it is time to see who will be infected. Bear Strike has just joined the clan. He's actually really enjoyed being in this clan and he's even made some relationships. But being so close to these cats, those that have been infected and cured and those that are still infected, it seems that he too is starting to run a fever and have vivid nightmares of mushrooms taking over all of the mire. Bear Strike is now infected with the curse. Frilled Scratch, one of the medicine cats, has now gotten a fever and is telling River Jay about the vivid dreams they too have been having. Both River Jay and Raccoon Creek listen intently, shaking their heads. They tell Frilled Scratch to lay down They'll do some tests, but they have a feeling that this is the first signs of the curse. Hail Paw, who is in the middle of grieving, also falls ill, blacking out from time to time. When it's reported to the medicine cats, they are dumbfounded with how many cats are falling ill and worsening as the days pass. And Grey Catcher is the last to be infected on this moon. He is trying to fight it, pretending that he doesn't feel bad, but everyone else can see that this cat is not acting like themselves and requests that they too go to the medicine den for an evaluation. Although many have been lost, a kitty pet does seem excited to join the clan and we now have October. On the 87th moon, things have started to return to normal as Elstar rests their muzzle on Baygale's head and declares them to be a full warrior of Willow Clan, honoring their exemplar. Finally, as Raccoon Creek is out, Having a sensitivity for emotion, she starts to feel this overwhelming, overpowering feeling of grief and dread. She briefly wonders if it's just because of all the losses lately in clan, that she's feeling all of our other living cats just grieving the loss of their family members, of their friends, of their clanmates, but it's something else. And she starts to see light flickering across the trees dancing across the water even the feeling of grief is very very clear and in her mind she thinks of ridge goose that's the first name that pops into her head ridge goose she knows that ridge goose is with them she knows that they are trying so hard to help this clan and then she hears the words in your dreams i will be in your dreams I will be. And so Raccoon Creek knows that Ridge Goose is going to give them a vision. I rolled really well for that. It looks as though Shinna Wisp, a loner, has joined the clan. I did not expect this. How old is River J? So River J announced that they are expecting kits, but they won't be moving into the nursery just yet. So, so River J, our, our medicine cat, is going to be having kits. A cat, once seriously infected, thought to die of the curse, is having kits suddenly. Pale Cloud ended up lasting an extra moon. Many of the medicine cats were hopeful, thinking that she did survive a little longer than the other cats, and yet, on this moon, she takes a turn for the worst. 
As the cats awaken in the morning, they find that Pale Cloud is still almost peaceful looking in her nest as she is covered in white mushrooms. In some ways it's beautiful, but the cats are devastated. Pale Cloud is laid to rest amongst the other cats. A necklace of brambles and leaves and the glowing white mushrooms are placed over her neck before she is set into the ground and she ascends into Starkland. On the 89th moon, Flower Paw becomes Flower Moss, which is such a cute name, and Sable Dust sits in pride as they watch their apprentice become a full-fledged warrior. Ariel Speckle, or Asriel Speckle, has joined the clan, but they are sick amongst joining. They are infected with the curse, but the clan cats decide to still take this cat in. And seemingly out of nowhere, Current stands up in their nest. They have been bedridden, thought practically dead, the medicine cats, they had they had no plans of being able to save Current at this point. And yet Current stands, feeling better, able to speak, able to remember even. And though their body is riddled with mushrooms, they feel fine. They are cured. And now on the 90th moon, our clan still stands against the darkness looming over them. And River Jay and Chip Fawn welcome their single kit into the world. A beautiful kit. A kit that they name Fennel Kit. But soon after, Chip Fawn falls into the river and Sable Dust drowned along Chip Fawn while trying to save them. Accidents happen around every corner. Asriel Speckle ended up dying of white cough, which they were sick with, but many suspect it may have also been the curse. So much loss in one moon, and Fireball is particularly shaken by it. River J is heartbroken for the loss of Chip Fawn, but they must be strong for their new kit. A kit that is so very important to the clan, but you'll have to wait and see them in our next episode of Willow Clan. I hope you liked this long one, y'all. If you did, tickle and poke the like button, subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle the bell so you're notified of when I post more Clan Gen videos. Moon Clan is coming. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week for more of Willow Clan, where the story continues. Bye!